Let the wind blow you to Stevensville, Maryland, and come on in to Trade Wind Exchange. Hi there, we're here at Trade Winds Exchange in Stevensville, Maryland, and we're here with Patty, the owner. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good. It's good to be here, Patty. I'm glad to have you. Glad you, you came down. Oh, it's great. It's great. You have everything in the store. That's what we shoot for. <laughs> yes. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Yes, we're a large store on the corner of Love Point and East Main. Um, it's one of the larger stores in town. Nice, light, bright, and we try and get a little something for everyone. We have everything from steampunk, industrial, repurposed uh, architectural pieces uh, to finer antiques. Nice. Uh, you have plenty to pick from. Yes, we do. Yes. It I'm, takes a while to get through here. <laughs> I bet, I bet. Are you seeing uh, more customers, uh, like they're younger, in their 20s and all, coming and appreciating some of the antiques and some of the, re you know, repurposed items that you have? Absolutely. That's a big push right now. Uh, I think uh, sites like Pinterest are... <laughs> pushing these kids to get out, uh, to save antiques, to save pieces, and to make them their own. They're going home and repurposing. It's like an arts and crafts movement, and I'm so happy to see young people taking an interest in antiques. Isn't that the truth? Absolutely. They're so well made. Yep. Yep. We just don't do it like that anymore. No, you can't pay a person uh, an hourly wage to hand carve and... You can't get the woods, the solid woods. We have a, a large tourist trade coming from the metropolitan areas. Uh, you come over the bridge, the prices go down. Uh -huh. uh, they're finding interesting pieces. Uh, the town center is an arts and entertainment district, so we have lots of shops, terrific restaurants. So they just like to come in, and they'll be in here for an hour browsing around, finding a treasure. You never know what you're going to find when you're treasure hunting. This is one of the more unique pieces that I have. It's a bike light phone from probably the 30s, 40s. Uh, it's a ship-to-shore phone. Uh, my research shows it was made by GE in England for the Queen Mary. It says on the dial that you can call anywhere in the world whilst at sea. We also have six different dealers. Uh, they each have their own booth, and they bring their own special uh, set of treasures. Uh, we have everything from primitives to fine antiques to jewelry, uh, a lot of beautiful cases full of beautiful vintage jewelry. Um, we have one woman who is a designer. She brings beautiful pieces in from all around the world. Uh, we try and have pieces that are unique uh, so that when you come in, you're sure to find a treasure. One of the things that's really popular right now um, is the mid-century modern piece, like the bedroom set that you see, just super clean lines. It was probably 1950s, made by Tomlinson. Uh, but we have young people coming in all the time seeking out our mid-century modern section, from the lamps to the Danish modern. The other trend right now is steampunk or repurposed furniture. Uh, this is what I was saying about there's an arts and crafts movement. Um, young people are coming in, they're finding an old winch, um, reworking it with barn wood, old woods, making them into tables, um, beds, headboards, bars. Um, so we really cater to that market. And this is a piece that was repurposed from a very old grapevine. Uh, the artist probably took five or six pieces and uh, cut it and pinned it together to make it a beautiful piece of artwork um, and also functional as a very organic coffee table. This is a great example of steampunk. This is actually an old steam gauge that came out of a factory. Um, pieces like this are used as a focal point decorative piece in a home. Um, but it's great that people are going out and salvaging these pieces from old factories and bringing them into their homes and appreciating them. They're enjoying that industrial revolution that we had in this country in the 30s, 40s, 50s. We also have a man cave section. That's a big thing uh, on the eastern shore. Uh, throw the garage doors open, have some crabs, but it's kind of fun to get neat pieces like the Packard uh, grill, oyster cans, uh, car guy memorabilia stuff. We have uh, oyster crates and tongs. So it's a great place to come pick up your oars, um, anything that's fun that you can trick out your garage or that basement that you're allowed to do whatever you want to do. Can you tell the public how they can contact you and find you? I am on Facebook, Trade Winds Exchange. Um, 
like me and I'll make sure that you know we give you all the information and directions it's easy first uh, exit over the Bay Bridge from Annapolis you're on the eastern shore and to visit these little towns on the eastern shore they truly are our treasures that's so true mm -hmm. Patty thank you so much it's been a joy meeting you yeah, thank you and uh, as you know I love your shop I know you do you've been <laughs> in here before <laughs> oh yes and I will be back again okay, good <laughs> well thanks so much and come join us it's a wonderful place you'll find anything and everything that you're looking for I hope you enjoyed learning about all different types of antiques come on down and check them out